lot of persons want to know, like, how did you really start? Like, where did all of this come from? Because was this like from you were a little boy, you always knew that you wanted to be on radio. Tell me about yourself. Okay, tell you about myself. Yes, and how you grew up and all yeah, of well, that. Yeah, well, I am me. Uh, <laughs> so, um, about myself, well, I was born in White House, Westmoreland, and my earliest memory, I, one thing I know about myself, um, well, I remember like where I grew up, like up in the hills, and there was like a bar next door to my house, so the bigger people there, they used to tell me that when I was little, I always go to the bar, and they would always play music, and I, was, I guess I was a child that loved music. So, radio, I didn't know anything about radio or anything like that, but my life changed. I remember when I was like, I was five, six, um, me and my friend Bobbit, we used to sit down and play this game whenever rain fall, we used to slide on the veranda, we used to play like, Bobbit used to say like, boy, I come with a daydream. So we used to sit down and dream like, but we always dream about like houses and cars and when we grew up, but there was no career path. Unfortunately, Bobbit died a few years ago, but wow. rest in peace. We used to call her Big Yell, but she's... A big influence in my life. She was uh, like my next door, like a sister to me. Mm -hmm. But life really changed when I was about nine. Um, I was shipped off to Montego Bay to go live um, with my brother, especially because my brother, he was about 25 at the time. He had a job and um, he would probably tell my mom that, you know, you know, I, I think my, you know, I guess he'd probably tell her that, you know, I think he can be something yeah. if we get him out of White, White House. House so. Mm -hmm. I went to live with my brother, and um, I remember the first thing I wanted to be mm -hmm. was that my brother used to bring me out to the airport, so I wanted to be a pilot, because all I did was go to the airport every day and watch planes. I'd go back home and draw a plane, and wow. so I just wanted to be a yeah. pilot. But then my brother loved music, and every day he would just play music on the radio, and I used to just hear people on the radio and stuff. I used to like the man named Barry G and a couple other people I used to hear, but then one day my brother came home early and said that he was going to a, a show or something. He and his friend Rock, so they brought me out there and there was this man out there on the mic talking and, you know, and I just, I don't know. I just went home after that and I just said, um, I don't know. You just started practicing? Yeah, I just started practicing and the pilot thing just started leaving me and I just said that, hey. Wow. I, so in terms of, you have a very unique voice. I mean, obviously you were... Oh, that's a whole story right there. <laughs> <laughs> that's another chapter. But you, you, you were obviously a young child at the time. Mm -hmm. And I mean, even when you mentioned in terms of daydreaming, wow, that's amazing. So, yeah, I was probably about seven, eight. So you were a young child and then hearing the likes of Barry G and the other radio personalities like Alan Magnus and all of those people. Alan, Alan Magnus was... I heard Alan more than Barry G because every relative's house you went to, you hear Alan Magnus. Alan Magnus. So we used to know, Alan Magnus was like the clock for us as a kid growing up. Alan is the greatest. You know what I mean? So um, first, you hear Calypso Corner. They hear Star Scope. It, as a little child, you know, if BBC News come on, you know, out of the yard, you know, you're late for school. <laughs> school, school. School starts 8.30 and it's like half an hour walk from where you live. So you, BBC News, if it catch you, you know, it's over, man. You're late. So um, I used to hear Alan more than Barry G. But I guess, uh, let me explain to you what happened to me growing up. Is that um, when, I, when I got to Montego Bay, um, I just know that I love music. So I used to hear a lot of music. And then Lieutenant Stitchy and Papa San and the man were like, so me just DJ. So every little concert, if me can't get a figure talk on it like Barry G, me I got DJ on it. So I had to be on the show. So I was a DJ. And an MC in one. <laughs> because of the influences. Because, you know, these are the people that I like. 